What is up beautiful people? Welcome back to Growing With Me where real is our norm and growth is our goal. My name is Marangi Faith and I'm going to be your host for this channel. As you guys can tell by the title, today I'll be giving you guys a few tips on how to get started in the gym as a newbie in 2024. Because we've all been there guys, it can be daunting, it can be intimidating, but I promise you, you're gonna figure it out, okay? And I'm here to help you do that, okay? Because I've been through it, I've been through it. I started my fitness journey when I was 17. Um, I started it in my high school gym because, yeah, we just got a gym in the high school and I was like, ain't no way I'm gonna leave the school without going to that gym. And it was free. And then in first year, I went to the gym in Pretoria and two different things, two different things because the gym in school, we had like an asshole bag and a rowing machine and then everything else was just free weight. We didn't have a lot of machines, but then when I got to Pretoria, I saw machines that I had never seen in my life. So I know how intimidating it can be to step into a place full of working machines and you feel like everyone there knows how to use it but you. Um, you will figure it out. We all had to at some point. We didn't just, weren't just a born they on the machines like no no we had to start somewhere as well okay i had to be like what does this do what does this do what does this do so i'm here to help you start off your fitness journey so first thing we want to do as you start off your gym journey or your fitness journey is to have your own personal why now people go to the gym for different reasons some people go to the gym for physical reasons which is totally okay like when december comes we're gonna see each other like and i'm here for it right some people go to the gym for health reasons. Some people go to the gym to distress. We all have different reasons for going to the gym. But you must make sure yours is personal to you, even if it's just starting a new habit. Like, don't just go to the gym because it's trendy. A trend is not going to sustain you. Okay, so have your own personal why. Value it. Honor it. And, you know, do the work that's required for it. So if you feel like, you know what, I just want to go to the gym because I'm trying to be a consistent babe. I'm trying to start a healthy habit then do that. Do that. Okay, so now you have your own personal why and you're like, okay, you know what? I have it. I'm, I'm gonna go for it. Now you want to go and get your membership. Now, these are some things to do and some things to avoid when, get you, when getting your membership. The first thing to do is to read your contract. Before you sign your life away, guys, Gym, gym contracts can be so messy. So please read the fine print. Please ask questions. Because the last thing you want to do is to sign yourself to a two-year contract um, that you can't get out of. I remember in first year, I signed a two-year contract that I tried to leave because, you know, the gym wasn't all that great. And the <laughs> story for another day. The fitness instructors were just absolute perps. Um, and I tried to leave that gym. And they were like, uh, if you want to leave, you're going to have to give us 3000 Excuse me, what? Where was that in the contract? It was in the fine print. It was in the fine print that if you left the contract before its termination date, you had to pay back every deposit. And because I was under a student account, um, you had to, and the student account apparently has a 50% discount. You had to pay back every discount that they had ever given you for every month. And then you have to pay 10% of the remaining months. And I was like, y'all, y'all blame me. It's okay, I'll stay. It's, you know, and I had to stay at a gym that I was very unhappy for, for like a good eight more months when I really didn't want to be there. So please read your contracts, ask questions, um, make, make sure everything's as clear as day before you sign it, okay? And then the second thing you want to do when you sign for your membership is to ask whoever is signing you if they will be able to give you a tour of the gym. Because those people only care about you the minute they want to sign you. Once you've signed, they don't really care like that. So you want to make most of the opportunity while they're still trying to sell you the gym. Um, you know, so like I know for me when I first got to like the Zone Fitness in Hatfield, I didn't know how to use the machines. Like I was like this and I only know free weights. And free weights is when you like when you work out, but with like dumbbells, kettlebells, like you don't use the machines. Um, but now there were like so many machines. I was like, I don't know how to use these things. It's overwhelming. Can you show me before I sign? And they were like, okay, you know what? It's okay. We'll get someone um, to give you a very like thorough run through of all the machines and they'll demonstrate how they work for you when you come back after you've signed. You know, I took their word for it. I signed. And then when I did get back, they did have someone to show me around the machines that this is a Smith machine and this is how it works. This is what it works um you know so you want to make sure that there's someone there to do that for you as well because else you're just not going to get your money's worth you know like why are they there so that's the second thing you want to do you've gotten your why you've gotten your membership 
now you need to go to the gym okay so now once you get to the gym there are four options of starting off that you can pick so the first is the easiest one is to get a friend <laughs> get a friend because i know it can be very intimidating if you're showing up to the gym for the first time and it's so crowded and it feels like everyone has purpose and you're just like i don't know what i'm doing here i don't know where to start um but if you have someone there with you that companionship gives you a little bit of comfort it makes you feel like okay i'm not alone like let's do this bestie i know it's the blind leading the blind because we both don't know what to do but at least we're in it together you know so one like if you can grab a friend to start off with you um if you're both starting off then that's cool if you have a friend that already goes to the gym ask them if you can tag along and then they'll show you the ropes you know so that's the first way you can go about things now the second way you can go about things is to hire a personal trainer so in the gym you get a personal trainer and you get a fitness instructor now i'm going to explain the difference now so a personal trainer is personal <laughs> you pay them so let's say there's a personal trainer his name is um jack and you're like hi jack um i am interested in working with you for the next three weeks i really want to get started these are my goals can you help me and then he'll set you up a personal like program for your goals and for like whatever you know workout objectives that you have and then he'll show you how to do the exercises he'll show you which machines to use how to use them um but this you obviously have to pay him you know so i think personal trainers are usually about 500 rand i think that's like the base rate they can be more expensive they can be less and it's 500 per month if i'm not mistaken i don't know guys i could be very wrong but I remember asking someone and they said they were 500 rand per month. Um, so that's one option you can explore. If you have the money, you have nothing to lose by hiring a personal trainer to start you off. Because they have a lot of knowledge about these things. They have studied these things. They know how the body works. They know, you know, everything that there is to know about fitness. Well, not everything probably, but they, they have a good amount of knowledge um, to help you in your fitness journey so that's the second you know alternative you can look towards the third alternative is to go there solo you know i did this i was there solo i was like listen and this is now when i was in pretoria i went there solo i was like okay you know what i don't have money for a personal trainer i'm just gonna have to freestyle it you pretend that you know what you can what you're doing delusion is the solution in the gym you fake it till you make it and eventually you'll get comfortable with it okay and then this is when the fitness this is where the fitness instructor comes in so remember i said there's a difference between a personal trainer and a fitness instructor so a personal trainer you pay them a fitness instructor the gym pays them so a fitness instructor is basically there to help you if you need help but they're not there to personally train you right so let's say you want to use the smith machine or the cable machine and you're like i don't know how this works I, they showed me three weeks ago when I got signed, um, but I forgot, right? Then you're going to ask the fitness instructor, hey, dude, and they usually have name tags, and I call them by their names. You'll be like, hey, um, dude, can you ha show me how to use this machine? And then he's going to gladly assist you because he gets paid to do that. So don't be shy to ask for help because you don't want to use a machine wrong and then you end up hurting yourself. That's not what you want to do. All right, so that's the, sec that's the third way of going about things. Um, and then he will also, you know, especially like the fitness instructors at Virgin Active are actually very nice. I don't know about the other gyms. Zone Fitness wasn't it. Maybe they've changed. I haven't been there in a year and a minute. Um, but usually at Virgin Active, they're very friendly. They'll be like, oh, okay, this is, how you, this is how you use it. But also tell me, what are you trying to do? Then I can give you more exercises to do with the cable machine. And then if you're like, okay, I want to grow my lads or I'm working on back, they'll give you a few more exercises with the cable machine for back. Okay, so that's the third alternative. Riding it solo with the help of a fitness instructor. Even the, the people around you, like, don't be scared to ask for help. If you see a girl doing a pull-up, you're like, girl, how you get up there? You know, if, like, she won't mind showing you. Some people don't want to be spoken to in the gym, but I promise you, most people don't mind, okay? And then the fourth alternative once you're in the gym is to join a group class. So usually if you go to the admin desk, there is like a little timetable, you know, that they have with all the group classes for the week. It'll be like Monday to Friday and they'll show like Pilates, yoga, high intensity interval training, um, you know, all different sorts of like exercises um that you can join in a group class and if you see that there's a pilates class at a tuesday afternoon at 2 p.m then you go to the pilates class on tuesday at 2 p.m 
and then there you can just be like okay this is this is the different exercises and you know if you're alone you can incorporate them but that's also like a very good way to get started is to go to a group class you will have a lot of fun you might meet new people i've never personally been to a group class but it always looks like so much fun when i see people through you know the studio and they're out there doing the zumba and they're dancing or you know it's yeah highly advise it if you don't want to be alone all right so now we're we we have our why we have our membership we are inside the gym now the fourth one guys is probably the most important of all of them is to be consistent y'all if you ain't gonna be consistent just like don't just don't go in the gym just don't do it because you clearly have money to waste um is what i'm hearing and you you can you could use it for a different course your girl is open for donations if you have 300 rand to waste every month just just donate it to your girl because what do you mean i had a friend uh her name is thunder actually have she's still very much alive <laughs> and still very much my friend but like this girl would go to the gym once a once a semester a semester six months five months and i was like you have money you you have money because guys, when that 300 rand subscription comes in, when that debit order comes into your bank account, you will want to go. Um, so please be consistent, especially if you want to see results. Like if you only go to the gym on a Monday for three hours, you ain't going, you ain't going to see results like that. Um, if you want to see results, you need to go to the gym. Try to make it four times a week at the very least. Try to make it four times a week if you're starting off, but then over time you know you can increase it to five maybe six i don't recommend seven but yeah just be consistent show up regularly there's this quote that says it's better to be consistently good than occasionally great if you show up on a monday for three hours that's being occasionally great but if you show up for an hour three four times a week that's being occasionally good and in the long run that will do so much more for you than having gone there on a single monday and doing everything under the sun and stepping out and never stepping in the gym again for that entire week so please 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 be consistent okay um remember that why and honor it don't don't play with yourself we're not playing with ourselves this year please like if you say you, if you tell yourself that you're going to do something do that thing because if you can't even keep your words to yourself then you're not going to trust yourself if you can't trust yourself you're on a spiral to a very dark place because you won't be able to trust yourself with anything because you can't even keep your word to yourself. So be consistent. Keep showing up. You know, even if you don't feel like it, just show up. There were times during exams where I'd go to the gym at 8.30. The gym closes at 9.30. I would leave at 8.30. I'd get that like 8.45. I was in the gym for 45 minutes and I stepped out. But it's okay. I still showed up. I still checked it off my tick list. You know, so please, please, please show up. Now the last thing that you guys want to do is to consistently work towards improvement consistently work towards progression because that's gym is a dance guys like it is a dance of progressively overloading it is a dance of pushing yourself past your boundary points if you could lift 10 kgs yesterday why would you want to lift it next week as well like no like you know go from 10 to 15 go from 15 to like 20 progressively overload do your research you know research what foods will give you more strength research what supplements you should be taking if you do want to be supplementing i'm vegetarian so i kind of do have to supplement for my protein um so i take creatine and and, and whey protein and you know it's great whatever you're working towards just research that and implement it play around with different exercises in the gym you know like just continuously work towards improvement don't just be stagnant and stick to what you've been doing for the past six months in the gym no <laughs> please don't um you know also you're gonna get bored if you keep doing the same things so don't be afraid to play around but also don't get don't injure yourself um that you're out for the next three months please be wise do your research ask for help if, i remember there there was a time where i really wanted to jump like i wanted to jump three boxes you guys might have seen the video on my shorts um i really wanted to jump three boxes of like i don't know guys i don't know how to explain it I'll, I'll maybe put like the short over here if I can include it. But like I really wanted to jump three boxes. And I would always see these guys jumping three boxes. And I was like, I can only jump two boxes. I want to jump three boxes. And I asked them for help. And like they gladly helped me. I didn't get it right the first time. Or the second. Or the third. But 
eventually after a few tries i got it right but i probably wouldn't have done it on my own i'll have to ask for help so yeah please guys the gym is a beautiful environment it's such a beautiful thing to have that relationship with your body where you can take care of it and feel it grow and be intentional about it what goes in it what goes through it what you put it through you know just embrace the journey stay away from the scale also like please every gym has a skill in their bathrooms and for me like a skill was such a fascinating thing because we didn't have a skill back at home right and so every time i'd go to the gym i'd be like oh a scale <laughs> and i'd get on it but if you become so obsessed with the number on the scale you're gonna really demotivate yourself um and you're gonna feel like you're putting in all this work and the scale number is going up because guys muscle is heavier than fat okay so th the more muscle you build up the heavier you're actually gonna be and if you're basing your improvement in the gym um of the number on the scale then you're not gonna be you're not gonna be a very happy person like i personally never went through that because i was like ah, i i think i've always been fine with my body like i really i'm not too critical about it i just go to the gym because i like it but um, don't, don't be too critical with yourself about the scale. If you could only see the decomposition that's taking place in your body, that would be a more realistic measure of your progress. But the number on the scale, guys, it's not it. Okay, so use it for your fascination, but don't obsess over it. Like, I still go to the gym and say, mm, 60 today, 61 tomorrow. Look at the fluctuations, you know. But, you know, don't don't become over consumed by the number on the scale like as someone who's been gymming for like a few years now i don't regret the journey i never will because it's just made such a positive impact on my life um just to care for my body in that manner so i highly recommend you guys do the same and all the best with the year ahead you guys got this you got this believe in yourself come on you got this girl all right so thank you guys so much for watching i will be signing up and out <laughs>